Happy Friday out there, Team 42. It's your skipper here, Darius Dell, to present our Macro Minute for Friday, April 12th, 2024. As always, we'll start with the executive summary uh, from today's late morning note. If you would like to review the analysis supporting these conclusions, as well as what to specifically do about them in your portfolio, you need to be a client of 42 Macro. So uh, we'll start with today's key macro events, which is gold's geopolitical bid continues, plus fresh evidence of our China front-loading stimulus theme. So the nuance there is gold continues its geopolitical driven ascent up 1% today to plus 3% this week and 11 up 11% month over month. Uh, the Wall Street Journal is reporting that Israel is bracing from a strike from Iran. Uh, elsewhere, uh, China China's import growth of minus 1.9% year over year in March disappointed consensus estimates. Moreover, the big month over month pop in total social financing is misleading. The year over year growth rates of uh, money into money supply and total loans of financial institutions are both slowed to multi-year cyclical lows. So in terms of market implications, uh, coupled with the CPI and PPI releases from earlier in the week, the first wave of March economic data supports our China front-loading stimulus theme that we authored back in December because continued softness implies more easing by the PBOC. Uh, we identify commodities and commodity producers as the best way to play our China front-loading stimulus theme back in mid-December and continue to see ample upside risk in this under-owned segment of global asset markets. Our discretionary risk management overlay has been dead wrong on gold over the past six weeks as it typically is short, as it is typically a short uh, in a risk on reflation market regime. Fortunately, our discretionary risk management overlay has been dead right on uh, all year on pretty much everything else. So, you know, for example, long high beta cyclical stocks, long high yield credit, long crypto, long commodities, short treasuries, short G10 sovereign debt. It's been uh, our research has been, you know, as right as I've been in my career for, you know, six month stretch here. So uh, I'm really excited about that. And our clients are very pleased uh, about that as well. We continue to get really positive feedback uh, in our community here uh, in our 42 macro dashboard, which we're transitioning to. As always, a wrap up with the question uh, from our community. Uh, this one's about coupon bills uh, and coupon bill coupon ratios. So I'll just read the question. Uh, it says, if I understand correctly, you are saying the jump in coupons this quarter people are worried about is not as impactful because the bond portion uh, of that coupon uh, ratio was lower relative to notes. So in other words, coupons have gone up, but no worries because the aggregate duration was partly or fully neutralized by recomposition. Uh, it's a bit wonky, so I just wanted to paraphrase to see if I understood correctly. Just reading the question here. Um, so the, that's generally correct. Uh, it's not the increase in duration uh, that the Treasury is uh, putting onto the market from a net financing standpoint. Uh, it's not fully neutralized. Coupons are rising. Uh, however, it's not as big as an increase in duration uh, as it would have been had the bond portion uh, uh, not be uh, declining quarter over quarter. So we actually have coupons rising, but bonds actually, in terms of the bonds, uh, the net financing via the bond market, till we consider 10 years plus as, as bonds, uh, the net financing in that segment of the market is actually declining uh, quarter over quarter. So again, it's, it's, it's not as good as it was in Q1, but it's not as bearish as the consensus uh, kind of narrative is out there. And then just wrapping up with the question, is there still a duration increase or has it been completely neutralized by this recomposition? So, uh, again, uh, in aggregate, there is a duration increase in terms of the Treasury's net financing policy uh, here in Q2. Uh, however, it is not as negative. It's not as onerous as I think the average investor thinks when they're just looking at uh, changes in bill uh, and net financing from bills and net financing from coupons. We deal down into the data and dig a little deeper here at 42 Macro to actually glean the more uh, salient insights as it relates to your portfolio and risk managing that. So we'll wrap it up there. Uh, Darius Dell presenting our Macro Minute for Friday, April 12th, 2024. Uh, everyone have a wonderful day out there. Best of luck. We'll catch you back here uh, on Monday. Cheers. Have a great weekend.